The COVID-19 pandemic has caused an unprecedented fall in economic activity in Canada, and the recovery will require considerable monetary policy support. Our overriding message to Canadians is that the bank will be there to provide monetary stimulus for an extended period to support the recovery and to return inflation to the 2% target. Interest rates are very low, and they're going to be there for a long time. Hang on, uh, hang on, recognize... hang on. We got to stop. I got to get my producer to stop. You know, did you just catch that? It, they're going to be low for a very long time. Gary, do you remember when he did I, that? I do. I remember that very clearly. And that was a message for people to now go out there, spend money, and also receive the funding that they were giving them for their their business. And this, I think, was, at least to me anyways, was, was reckless. It, it might not have been reckless if they said what they said that they were going to do. But because they didn't, it made it very reckless. And I've talked about this before, that even when that inflation started to happen, okay, because it, it did. They knew when it was starting to happen because it's not the printing of money that does it. It's the velocity. And so when people start spending that money. Sure. And so when they started seeing that creep up, they should have, they should have at least given a warning, said, hey, look, this is where it looks like it's going. You may want to buckle up for this ride. Yeah. You know, and it's funny because everybody, you know, real estate started reporting on a daily basis, right? Why couldn't the Bank of Canada, they would know the numbers. It's not like they sit there and say, oh, we only know inflationary numbers at the first of the month. I mean, come on. Like they know what's happening. They know what the transaction. Let's see what else he has to say. That. Canadians, Canadian businesses are facing an unusual amount of uncertainty. And so we have been unusually clear about the future path for interest rates. If you've got a mortgage uh, or if you're considering to make a major purchase or you're a business and you're considering making an investment, you can be confident that interest rates will be low for a long time. Wow. Hang on. I, I got to get my Hello. producer to say, hang on, hang on, hang on. A long time. How long is a long time? <laughs> That's a good question. How long is a long time? I think a long time is a lot longer than what had happened. At least our perception. Yeah. Right. right. Wow. I, I, I don't know because, you know, I think, you know, their reaction, they're not, their, their jerk reaction was so quick. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else he has to say. Low interest rates make spending and investment more affordable and spending and investment will support the recovery. That would be our message to Canadians. You know, I got I to tell you, Gary, um, you know, I, I, I've i referenced this interview quite a few times, like where they turned around and backtracked. Okay. And, you know, people still can't believe he actually said that and then did the opposite. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, I, I think people forgot that he said that. Yeah. When, when I talk to a lot of people, they forgot. And, and, and I've actually shown this clip a couple of times as well, too. It's like, oh, he did say it. Yeah. He did say it, right? And I think sometimes people have short-term memories. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that that was said. It's unfortunate that people believed it. And, uh, and, and it's put a lot of people in a lot of harm's way and in difficult times. And this is, I think, also just additional proof that... Do not rely on the government. Do not wait for people to come and save you. Get yourself financially educated. And 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 if you do that, it'll allow you to, to make smart decisions and not only just rely on what these leaders are telling us. Yeah. Well, hey, folks, listen, Gary couldn't have put it better. You know, one of the most important things is your financial literacy, keeping in mind that you and only you are the ones controlling your future and your security as Canadians, you know, myself, yourself, everybody, we got to look out for ourselves because we can be sure the government's not going to do it. By the way, just another fact, looking at what the Bank of Canada said and has done. Thanks for tuning in.